we continue to urge everybody to exercise restraint and to restrain from any kind of uh, self-help in terms of uh, uh, the violence. And Israel has every right in the world to protect its citizens as it has been from random acts of violence. We want to see calm restored and we want to see the violence stop. And I think everybody in Israel and in the region would like to see both of those things happen. All right. I mean, there's so much wrong with that, as we've discussed, that I, it, it, you just need an hour. But Gary Bauer, who rhymes with hour, uh, president of American Values, former Reagan official and 2000 uh, Republican presidential candidate. Hello, Gary. How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing well. You know, when I, when I hear him say, and I don't care what else he says, once you say that and you say it's random acts of violence, which is what the president has called terror against Jews. He called that uh, random act of violence when someone went into a synagogue in Jerusalem and hacked to death five rabbis. He shrugged and talked about random acts of violence. What the heck is wrong with these people? You know, Steve, it's, at this point, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words, and that's a bad thing for your guests to say. <laughs> uh, look, this is, this is um, moral blindness at its worst. This administration consistently confuses the murdered with the murderers. These are young Palestinian Muslim men who have been incited to violence, who have been educated in schools that continually teach them to hate Jews. They go to mosques where imams tell them the only way they can be absolutely certain that they will be with Allah in heaven is if they kill a Jew. The music, the films, the culture of the Palestinian areas all promote this kind of violence. And for anybody in the White House, anybody speaking for the United States government, to call it a cycle of violence, or somehow to equate the police that come to get the people carrying out these murderous acts with the murderers carrying out those acts it is a degree of obscenity that is, as I said, almost beyond words to be able to accurately describe. No, you're, you, you said it very well. It is, uh, it is outrageous. And, you know, what other religion do you have to worry about uh, Friday? because that's who the, the call to prayer and they're going to they're going to be coming out of that call to prayer so we all better watch it i mean you know we i'll ask a, a rhetorical question gee what goes on in that call to prayer in that mosque uh, absolutely and as you know steve there's a lot of groups out there that manage to monitor uh these messages that are being delivered in radical mosques not only in the palestinian territories but quite frankly radical mos uh, messages being delivered in mosques all over the Middle East, the Horn of Africa, some places in Europe, and according to some reports, in some mosques here in the United States. And it's not a, mos a message of tolerance. It's a message of uh, revenge, a message of killing the infidel. We're seeing the ramifications of this every day around the world, yep. whether it's Jews being killed in the street of, streets of Jerusalem or Christian girls being raped and kidnapped uh, across the Horn of Africa. Gary, I've done, I've done more shows on, on, on death and, and destruction and, and, and murder of Christians uh, than I have on the murder of Jews, and it's not a contest, but I just don't know how the world is silent uh, and this administration is silent. If we have a devout Christian in the White House, and even if we didn't, uh, but he says he is, and I'll believe him, then how does he not speak out against what's going on against Christians, yet he speaks out bashing Christianity over and over and over again? Now, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, look, it's not only the silence of the White House, it's the silence of, quote, unquote, the world community, yep. whatever the heck that is. Look, if this was happening the other way around, I would oh. just ask people to imagine if there were random attacks by Orthodox Jews on Palestinian women and children and families, there would already be an emergency meeting at the United Nations. The president would be lecturing Israel about the hatred uh, that is uh, fermenting in Jewish society. Uh, the political correct crowd would be out telling us to search our own souls and hearts to see if we are also harboring uh, anti-Islamic right, feelings. Right. But Abbas, he, Abbas says he, he, val he, he relishes every drop of Jewish blood spilled in Jerusalem, and Obama still calls him a man of peace. Listen, we got 20 seconds. Who do you, who's going to win the Republican nomination? 
Uh, well, I, I don't know. It's anybody's ball game, which is amazing in itself. But I know one thing. The Republican establishment needs a sedative at this point. Absolutely. Gary, we'll have you back. We'll talk more about that subject. Gary Bauer, ladies and gentlemen, you probably heard about the shocking new book, Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary by Edward Klein. Unlikable has already skyrocketed to the top of the bestseller list. In Unlikable, Ed Klein offers a stunning, powerful expose of Hillary Clinton and her floundering race for the White House. Klein also reveals the angry rivalry between Hillary and Barack Obama. Unlikable retails for $29.95, but you can get it with our free offer. So get this almost $30 dollar value free today just go online or call the toll-free number on your screen so do it now check out our incredible offer right now